by Andy and NYC Media Lab. That's why we took the theme Project Blue Book as the storyline in our experience.
attack with object by pushing buttons. Um, and some things, some object will move out after you complete some task. Next slide, please. So I'm going to walk you through the user flow in our experience. So first thing, you uh, it's a multi-user experience, and we definitely want to share an environment. So um, there will only be one user in the host. Which, that, which means that person will be responsible to set up the group. So first thing, uh, one player chooses to host and the other chooses to join. And the one who chooses to a room to choose to host a room will be able to choose which room you want to escape from. And player two will just wait until the room is set up. So game start. The first thing, go explore. You could um, try to tap with objects, and we the next version we are making right now definitely improve this part that people don't know what they can tap to. But we're telling you more until later. Next one. The the main interactions. Interaction one is you have to push the button to listen to the instructions. So the first clue is from the audio in the radio. So you have to listen to the audio and the next one, please. <laughs> and find a default chart to go to find out which button to press on this machine. And this next clue will come up. And then that clue will lead you to uh, to teach you how to operate the last door, uh, which is required for two devices. One device will be in charge in pushing the button, holding a button, while the other one will rotate the door open. So that is how we, you know, force you to cooperate. And it has to be multi-user. <laughs> <laughs> have to cooperate. Yes. And after the game, if you lose, you didn't get out in time or you don't have time. This is a place that you can see your game result. And we encourage you to share your game result by, like, you know, telling you how much better you are from the other person. And here's a little shame. My husband. Um, uh, so you uh, will be invited to take a picture with the environment. That's how we encourage people to share about our experience because this is a constructor AR. We definitely want to emphasize that. Perfect. Uh, next so one thing that we learned through the process, it was like first of all, I agree with most of the like the previous speakers. They were talking about how the design process has like. We need to approach it a little bit differently because it's a really a combination of 2D and 3D and it involves body, it involves cooperation, uh, it involves interaction with the physical space. So it requires a little bit more visualization and thinking uh, in space actually. Uh, so what we really relied on actually like sketching out and storyboarding through the time that that helped us to actually verbalize our ideas and introduce our ideas to other people and actually kill some of the ideas through that process. So before even like building models or creating animations, etc., just sketching out and visualizing as much as possible, that really helped and it became like a design principle for us. Uh, the puzzles also, so right now we are working on a second version of this, more like an updated version of this by still collaborating with the networks which we're going to showcase it at LEDCOM uh, on October. Uh, so the puzzles will be changing based on our learnings because we realized that we were trying to uh, combine all the puzzles together, so which requires a little framework uh, for the users, but we realized it's really hard for users to uh, manage their time and like, keep the interacting with the phone, with the uh, physical space, it was pretty challenging. So we are kind of simplifying the experience a little bit more and creating individual puzzles that will actually reveal some information about the, the cases from the show. Um, and providing clear goals really minimizes frustration. Otherwise, people really don't know where to look at and they have a very limited time. Uh, I guess that's a rule for any kind of Escape room design. Right. And so I, I want to add to what you were saying. Is because escape room itself is a very challenging 
it's a very challenging experience already. And in the AR environment, you have to learn how to interact with the object. It's another layer of learning. So we really want to like minimize like how much brain power it actually requires, and then really show like the capability of what we can create with the AR. Okay. So another learning that we want to share with you in terms of interaction is to keep the interaction straightforward and rewarding. Physical collaboration generates way more um, playful experience. You can encourage them to squat down, to like lift up, or like do more physical interaction instead of making um, the task very difficult. Uh, set standard gestures to ex or expect the necessity to include tutorials. So. Um, you know, in, in our physical world, you know how to pull out a cup, you know how to move an object, but in AR it's different. So if you want to apply like those special gestures to each object, you want to really provide help. Like, how do I do that? You could, you could teach them at the moment it happens, or just set up really basic gestures at the beginning. Like, you only do double tap to collect, you only do this, don't do that to make that clear and they can really focus in on their story and the fun of it. And spatial effects. Utilize visual effects and create surprise effects. It doesn't need to be complicated to be a good experience, both for story plots and interactions. We actually run into a lot of walls just to figure out this. Um, just right now, like, I will repeat myself. So utilize fun visual effect, effects by like as simple as tapping, and make it a surprising story and also an effect. That would be fun. And urgency layers. This is what we are really pushing for the second uh, version, is to create a storytelling that has a climax. So we use some little tricks in the next version that uh, we will intend, increase the intensity throughout the seven minutes or 10 minutes and just want to share the news. We are going to be at AlienCon in October. And we will also share all the new updates on our, my website, your website, social media. <laughs> and the next, the earliest event you could um, experience our second version, new version, is September 26th with NYC Media Lab. Uh,